Mates. Today we are talking glasses. Here's a man I could do with. Uh, we're going to talk to Sid, who's from Walkden, who's the managing director of Specs Carts. Afternoon to you, Sid. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, really good. Thank you, mate. Right, you have got such an inspiring story. I love this. Right, let's start from the start. How did you get interested in this particular uh, industry? So what happened? Uh, this was when I was in the university, just before my second semester exams. Just three days before the exam, I broke my last pair of glasses. Now, first time I was going to uh, buy a pair of glasses myself and I went to the city centre, Manchester city centre, and I went to all the big high street retailers. I went to buy a pair of glasses. So an average pair of glasses was costing me between 180 to 250 pounds mm-hmm. with all the anti glares and everything. Now, to me as a student, that was very, very expensive. And if I'd go for a design pair, that'll cost me like 500 pounds. So as a student, I was like, how can glasses cost you roughly like an iPhone? Because it was needed and, and I had no option. I ended up buying on the credit card. But when I went to try on the whole, uh, this was a, one of the big uh, retail chains, it was all locked behind cabinets. Yeah. So when I wanted to try one pair, the shop assistant would open that rack and I'd try one frame. And if I want to try another frame on the other rack, she'd open the other rack and then I'll try it on. And I was like, to me, that was bad user experience. You know, if you go to buy a pair of shoes or uh, let's say you go to a normal footwear store, you can just try it on or a clothing store. They're not locked behind cabinets. So that was number two. Then the third thing was I bought it and I paid a fortune even after the bad user experience. I was told that I'll get in seven to 14 working days. And my exam was three days later. So I was like, there, there should be, there should be some solution to it, you know, we'll solve it. And it was like, how can I do it differently and how can I do it better? And I wanted to change the way people think about glasses, you know, changing from like a medical instrument for sight correction to a fast fashion accessory that's sustainably produced, you know, like let's say footwear. We've got uh, seven pair of shoes on average UK male and we've only got two pair of one or two pair of glasses whereas they sit right on our faces you know if we wear a different of shoes at the gym then how can we wear the same pair of glasses so it was just about how can we change it and that's how uh, I, I thought I'll find a new company and I founded Specscart so we've got one store in Betty and one in Walden and we've got uh, an online presence so we sell glasses direct to public we manufacture ourselves so it's a direct to customer model we've reduced the price substantially and then we've introduced offers like free home trial where people can try glasses at home, test different lenses, and they can walk into our stores and it's going to be more like a, a, you know, like a clothing store where they can just, they're free to try anything they want. And then anything you order, you know, a pair of prescription glasses, majority of them we deliver next day. Wow. And that's just, it's, this is like faster than a speeding bullet in our industry. <laughs> Can I just say, Sid, it's almost like you're in my mind, reading my mind, because I wear glasses uh, for distances uh-huh. and I've had exactly the same experiences. You know, trouble p- putting on designer glasses, the expense of them, then having to wait the two weeks, which is always infuriating. Um, it's almost yeah. like you've solved every single problem in the glasses world. This is genius. Um, will you open a store in sale, please, so I can be a customer there? That would be delightful. Um, but as you say, you're online. So uh, do you do the eye test as well or do you just wait for the uh, the prescription and then you can, you know, sort of go from there? Yeah, for the online orders, uh, you can send us, a, or you can upload a prescription photo. It's like WhatsApp. It's very, very easy. But we've got physical stores. One is in Walden. One is in Berry. Hopefully, we're going to go open two more. One is closer to sale. So oh, good. <laughs> we'll right. be coming closer to you. That's good because I needed, I just know I needed a pair of glasses only because my Dalmatian ate one of my other pairs. Let's not talk about that. He's in the bad books. So we decided that we're going to produce everything ourselves. We've got a lab in Berry, and that's how we are able to do quick. And it's all, it's all very nicely made. You know, it's the craftsmanship, etc. Visit our stores. You'd love it. Oh, you are great, Sid. Listen, you've got a new customer. That's it. I'm with you. I should have gone to Specscart, which is Sid's yeah. company. Right. Don't nick that. Otherwise, you know, you would probably be in trouble. Uh, but hey, listen, what an incredible thing that you've done there. I love that. The fact that you'd, you'd realised that there was a gap in the market. You saw a problem. You've solved the problem. And now you've gone. You've got two stores, two more opening. You've got a website. Good on you. Uh, listen, congratulations, because it sounds a brilliant industry. And you've won an award as well, haven't you, for this? 
Yeah, yeah. You know, the first shop that we opened, where I'm calling you from now, this is, I'm in Walden right now. When I first pitched my idea to the University of Manchester, they were doing, uh, this was the Albert Grube Awards. And this was when I had nothing. It was just the idea. And as an award, they gave us a retail shop for two years rent free. Oh, wow. And uh, this was, so uh, I didn't, I never thought they were going to go into high street retail, but we, we just thought we'll use it as a, you know, as, as an office. Well, when we opened the, you know, when we, when we saw customers, when we met them face to face, that emotional connection, we wanted that. And that's where we thought, no, we're going to, we're going to be in retail. And we're going to, you know, it's that when customers walk into your shop, you meet that personal touch and that level of service. And till now, that small Walden shop, which was awarded, now we're moving into an, uh, five times bigger premises in Walden Town Centre. Same shopping mall, but a five times bigger premises. It's going to be opening in August. Good on you. Do you know, I doff yeah. my cap in your direction, Sid. What a great story. And also inspiring as well. Hopefully encourage others to uh, maybe think about the same. That's great. Right. Uh, unfortunately, for the plug, you've got to play the game. Yeah. Are you ready for this, Sid? <laughs> Let's see if you're as yeah, good as, uh, at words as you are at uh, being an entrepreneur. Uh, right, so all of your words, Sid, are going to begin with the letters H-A-N. H for Harry, A for Andrew, N for Norman. OK, H-A-N. Right. So you've got 60 seconds of definitions coming up. They all begin with those three letters, H-A-N. So whatever definition I give you, just always think of those three letters because every word begins with those three letters, H-A-N. Don't know the answers, just say pass. Here we go, Sid from Spexcar. Good luck. The Definition Quiz. BBC Radio Manchester. So, words beginning H-A-N, the part of the body at the end of the arm consisting of thumb, four fingers and a palm. Hand. Yes, a shelter, especially for housing or preparing aircraft. Uh, Any ideas? Um, Pass if you don't know. Right, OK. Good-looking, having pleasing and well-defined features. This is me and you, Sid. Handsome. Yes, the part of a utensil or drawer used to be held in order to move or open the particular drawer. What do you open a drawer with? Handle. Yes, Handle. to fasten from above with no support from below to suspend. Uh, hang. Yes, a restraining device often used by the police containing strong connected hoops that can be tightened around the wrists. Uh, hand, handcuff. Handcuff, yes. Handcuff. Uh, a woman's yes. small bag used to hold money and cosmetics. What do they have? The ladies have got a... Handbag. Handbag is the right answer. Only one you didn't get there. A shelter, especially for housing or preparing aircraft, was a hangar. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good score. Well done, Sid. You can hold your head high uh, as you're dishing out those glasses and whatever else uh, it is. Uh, listen, what an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Uh, a real inspiration as well, actually. That was a great story, so thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, Sid, who's from Walkden, Managing Director of Specscarts, part of our Asian Heritage Month. We continue the celebration tomorrow with the Definition Quiz at 3.45. From the BBC Sounds app.